excited to announce that when uh, when the election's over, should we form government, the NDP will be ensuring that the many, many community spaces as well as public, uh, rather private spaces, like shopping malls and apartment buildings, for example, are um, are equipped with uh, portable defibrillators. Shock advised. Just telling you a shock is advised? Shock Press flashing shock button. Press the flashing shock button. Shock delivery. This is not 1990, and I'm uh, I'm certainly not Bob Ray. What people have been telling me really from day one in this campaign is that uh, they're tired of Kathleen Wynne and the Liberals. The Conservative Party's been throwing a lot of mud, and maybe they should think about the fact that when you throw mud, you lose a lot of ground. I know that we're in third place. I know that's where we are. I'm sorry that Andrea Horvath feels that she's being uh, put on the hot seat by us, but that's, that kind of comes with the territory. You've got to answer those questions. When the NDP was not really part of the conversation, then, then it was a different discussion. As I said, the first half of this campaign was a referendum on Doug Ford. Um, and so now if the NDP wants to be taken seriously, and is being taken seriously, I mean, the NDP is being taken seriously. See, I can tell you from lived experience, being taken seriously means that you've got to answer tough questions. I'm not in any way buying into anything that Doug Ford is saying. We have our own critique and our own concerns about what the NDP is uh, suggesting.